Wednesday, April 16th, 2025, may go down in history as the day the mystery of extraterrestrial life was finally solved. On that day, News Vogue via the Astrophysical Journal letters that a team at Cambridge University had found something astounding. A distant planet orbiting a star some 124 light years from Earth that may very well support alien life. The planet is called K218b, and if the Cambridge team truly saw what they believe they saw, then K218b's atmosphere is a gigantic biosignature, undeniably the strongest evidence of life on an alien planet that humans have ever found. Now, of course, we can't jump to conclusions yet, and as the scientists involved have been careful to emphasize, evidence is still a far cry from proof. However, by virtue of the discoveries they have already made, this team of researchers has brought humanity closer than ever before to solving the ultimate mystery. So, here's what happened, and here's what comes next. The Planet the planet K218b is fairly unremarkable, as exoplanets go, orbiting a red dwarf star called K218 at a distance of 124 light years from Earth. For context, one light year is about 6 trillion miles or 9 trillion kilometers. K218b is classified as a sub Neptune, meaning its radius is smaller than that of Neptune in our own solar system. Specifically, it's about 2.5 times the radius of Earth and has roughly 8.5 times Earth's mass. The planet sits comfortably within the habitable zone of its host star, with average surface temperatures estimated to be between negative 3 and negative 13 degrees Celsius, that's between 8 and 27 Fahrenheit Americans. Since these are average temperatures, some regions of the planet are likely to be warmer and some are going to be cooler. It's how averages work. Now, K218b completes an orbit around its sun every 33 days. It was first discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope back in 2015 and is just one of two known planets in its solar system alongside a smaller, gas-rich planet of lesser mass. While it's believed that K218b is tidally locked to its star, a fact not yet confirmed, it may also experience tidal interactions with its planetary neighbor since the two orbit closely enough to likely exert significant gravitational influence on each other. Receiving roughly as much stellar radiation as Earth, K218b's average surface temperatures suggest that most water would be frozen. However, as with Earth, warmer regions could exist where water remains warm enough to avoid freezing. Despite being relatively typical in many respects, K218b has intrigued the planet hunting community for over half a decade. In 2019, astronomers discovered that its atmosphere contains water vapor, an especially noteworthy finding as it was the first exoplanet beyond the large uninhabitable hot Jupiters to exhibit this trait. Consequently, K218b has come under unusual scrutiny, with scientists examining it closely for many years now. Further study has revealed that earlier assumptions about its cold surface temperatures may be misleading. A chilly outer atmosphere likely masks a much warmer, heat-trapping environment below. Some estimates suggest the planet's surface could reach temperatures as high as 200 degrees Celsius or nearly 400 Fahrenheit. K218b is classified as a Hycean planet. It possesses a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and is thought to have an ocean of liquid water beneath. Previously, Hycean planets were considered uninhabitable by default due to the expectation of a powerful greenhouse effect where trapped energy creates extreme conditions that are similar to Venus. However, K218b appears to defy that assumption. In 2023, researchers detected both carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere, including about 25 times more carbon dioxide than Earth contains. Even before the latest data release on K218b made global headlines, the scientific community already recognized this planet as one of the most promising candidates for life beyond Earth. However, the news in April 2025 elevated K218b from an interesting contender to the very top of the list of planets most deserving of further study. The breakthrough came from an analysis of the exoplanet's atmospheric chemical composition, which revealed the presence of two exceptionally important compounds, dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, and dimethyl disulfide, or DMDS. Although both of these compounds can be synthesized by humans, they are only known to occur naturally as byproducts of biological activity. In other words, their presence is about as clear a telltale sign as Earth could provide that where these compounds exist, life is also likely to be found. 
Moreover, the detection of these specific biosignatures might even hint at the kind of life present on K218b. Both DMS and DMDS are typically associated with microorganisms, algae and marine phytoplankton that thrive in water bodies similar to those found all across Earth. In fact, the only naturally occurring source of dimethyl sulfide known to humans is from these organisms, suggesting that if Earth's life is any kind of analog, K218b might host a form of life comparable to our own phytoplankton. The Discovery now, with these biosignatures officially recorded, it's worth taking a moment to give credit where credit is due and offer well-deserved praise to the scientists who discovered them. As mentioned, the data used to find the biosignatures came from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, which is currently in its fourth year of operation. Already? <laughs> Time flies. Orbiting the sun around one and a half million kilometers or 930,000 miles from Earth. However, the team responsible for the actual discovery operates out of the Institute of Astronomy at Cambridge University, led by researcher and professor Niku Madhusudan. He and five other researchers were able to build on the team's earlier observations of K218b, work that dates back to their 2023 results when they identified the presence of methane and carbon dioxide on the planet. Even then, the team had detected faint hints of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, putting them on the trail of a biological marker that could have major implications. The most recent study now confirms the identification of DMS at a confidence level known as 3 sigma, which essentially means there's only a 0.3% chance that these results are due to random chance. According to the Cambridge team, another 16 to 24 hours of direct observation of the planet by JWST should allow them to reach a 5 sigma level of confidence, leaving only an infinite Decimally small chance that their findings are due to random chance and meeting the standard of discovery set by the global scientific community. As the team's lead researcher told the BBC, this is the strongest evidence yet that there is possibly life out there. I can realistically say that we can confirm this signal within one to two years. He went on to add, if we confirm that there is life on K218b, it should basically confirm that life is very common in the galaxy. End quote. This is because, as noted before, the planet is essentially unremarkable aside from the unique chemical signatures observed in its atmosphere. K218b is a sub-Neptune exoplanet orbiting in the habitable zone of a red dwarf, about as common as it gets according to current human data. Now, While the search for life on exoplanets has been ongoing for decades, we're still very, very early in the endeavor. There is only one telescope currently capable of searching exoplanet atmospheres for these biosignatures, and it's been in operation for just a few years. All of this is quite recent, and the ease with which humanity may have found a nearby ocean world teeming with life as soon as it began searching suggests that such situations could be entirely common. But the Cambridge team has been very transparent about the fact that despite their strong results, it is far too early to draw definitive conclusions, and not just because their research has not yet reached the threshold of confidence required to officially declare the discovery of these biosignatures on an alien world. First of all, even if the team eventually meets that standard, it would only confirm the presence of these specific gases within the planet's atmosphere. It would not confirm the existence of alien life or even prove that the researchers are correct in interpreting the gases as biosignatures. All of that remains just well-informed speculation, and it will continue to be speculation until or unless the planet can be studied far more closely than current human technology allows. There's also no guarantee that these two biosignatures must be produced by alien life. On Earth, we know of these compounds as natural byproducts of biological activity, but that doesn't mean we fully understand every way they might be created. We can manufacture both compounds in the laboratory, and experiments have shown that they could form when UV light interacts with certain types of exoplanet atmospheres. Dimethyl sulfide has also been detected on comets, which are environments where life as we know it is highly unlikely, and it has been found in stardust and interstellar gases as well. The Cambridge team considered all of these possibilities, noting that neither cometary delivery nor interactions between UV light and a planet's atmosphere could account for the large amounts of dimethyl sulfide they observed. Nevertheless, the broader point, as always in modern science, is that our knowledge is limited, and other as-yet-unknown explanations for the presence of these gases may exist. 
Nor are we absolutely certain that K218b is a Hycean environment, as suggested by researchers at Cambridge. In fact, other studies of the planet have indicated that it might instead be covered by a global magma ocean, which would make it entirely inhospitable, or it could even be mostly gaseous. Neither of these scenarios seem as likely as the possibility that K218b is a rocky planet with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. However, the current tools available for studying exoplanets that are many light years away are still quite imperfect, leaving plenty of room for findings that could lead to radically different conclusions. But if these compounds truly do indicate the presence of extraterrestrial life, then K218b would have to be absolutely teeming with living organisms to produce them at the levels observed by the JWST. Like many other chemical compounds, these substances break down fairly quickly into simpler forms. That means it wouldn't be enough for them have to be created just once, say, delivered by a passing comet. Instead, there must be a continuous source replenishing them in K218b's atmosphere. Perhaps the planet has some bizarre volcanoes that constantly emit these chemicals, or maybe its oceans are so densely packed with algae and phytoplankton that they resemble an earthly pond smothered in green goo. What comes next? As for what happens next, the first step will be for the Cambridge team to take more detailed and extended measurements of K218b, aiming to approach or even meet the Five Sigma threshold of reliability in their results. Once achieved, the presence of biosignature compounds on this exoplanet will become almost a given for future researchers, even if the exact mechanism by which they are generated remains a mystery. Equally important is the role of other scientific teams in both validating the Cambridge team's findings and building upon them. External review and replication are absolutely vital to the scientific process. While it is unfortunately rather uncommon for studies to be replicated in today's research environment, groundbreaking studies like the Cambridge team's are far more likely to attract others to independently verify the results. Already, several global teams are focusing on K218b, and a number of researchers have expressed interest in undertaking replication efforts. At the same time, parallel efforts will address another crucial aspect of modern science – disconfirmation, whenever and wherever possible. In other words, once a research group has presented a set of results and drawn their conclusions, it becomes the responsibility of the scientific community to search for alternative explanations. The goal is to offer definitive proof that those initial conclusions might not be correct. Harsh as this might sound, it is actually the best way to strengthen findings that cannot be confirmed directly, especially since we currently lack the ability to send a probe to observe K218b firsthand. We could try to develop such capability, building and launching a new probe, but even if that probe traveled at the speed of the fastest man-made object, the Parker Solar Probe, it would still take 115,000 years to reach its destination. Instead, scientists have turned to a different approach. They explore how else such biosignature compounds could exist in the planet's atmosphere. Their aim is to find alternative explanations for the discovery, ones that make more sense and fit better with other observable realities than simply attributing it to extraterrestrial organisms. As the Cambridge team emphasized in a press release, quote, it's important that we're deeply skeptical of our own results because it's only by testing and testing again that we will be able to reach the point where we're confident in them. That's how science has to work. One thing we probably won't be able to determine is whether single-celled microorganisms on K218b, if they exist, have evolved into more complex forms of life. Unless there are life forms that produce distinct chemical byproducts which would already have been detected by the JWST, modern science simply lacks the tools to understand what is actually happening on such a distant planet. In fact, it remains uncertain how long it will take before we develop these kinds of capabilities, though it is clear that they won't be available anytime soon. For now, it's just a waiting game until further observations can strengthen the case that K218b truly does host extraterrestrial life. Perhaps a few years from now, this planet will be little more than a footnote, serving as a cautionary tale against raising our hopes too soon. Or maybe, in that same near future, we'll find ourselves in a world where it's reasonable to believe that K218b really does harbor life. In that moment, the vision of a teeming, abundant, living universe that humans have always imagined might finally become real. Thank you for watching.